Hello, guys, and welcome to a talk with Ethan and Kat. We want to answer questions getting asked a ton. I mean, a literal ton. There are people sending us messages on the daily saying, I'm so excited, and as you should be, you're getting a new puppy, to go pick up my six-week-old puppy from the breeder. And or they're just asking us, hey, our breeder's sending our puppies home at six weeks old, but we notice you guys don't send your puppies home until eight weeks old. Why is that? Is what there the heck is going on here? Is there something going on? Should I be getting a puppy at six weeks old? So people have questions, and we've got some answers. Absolutely do. If this is your first time to the channel, guys, definitely hit that subscribe button right down here. We really appreciate everyone that subscribes to the channel. So first thing that I want to mention is there is actually a legality issue when it comes to what age you can send puppies home, at least for 25 states. So, you know, that's about 50% of the states in the U.S. Not about, it's exactly 50%. Yeah, math. But I wanted to go ahead and read through the states that have a requirement for what age those puppies can be sent home at. And now, of these states, they all prohibit selling puppies before eight weeks of age. Arizona, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, which is where we're from, mm -hmm. Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, Nevada, New York, Ohio, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Texas, Utah, and then Virginia and Wisconsin prohibit them being sold under seven weeks old. So if you guys are buying a dog or excited about getting a dog or ready to pick up a dog from a breeder in one of those 25 states and the dog is under seven weeks old, it is not legal by their state regulations for them to do that. Now, the rest of the 25 states don't have a specific regulation listed for requiring or not requiring, and that comes into uh, the rest of what this video is gonna be about, which is why we specifically um, feel that at least eight weeks old is ideal for our puppies. Um, not only the fact that we listed there, Kansas requires eight weeks, but even if they it wasn't a state requirement. Hey, we would be I'm from at North that. Dakota originally. Okay, so which even, is North which Dakota. North Dakota doesn't have a law. So okay. even if we were in North Dakota, I would still not want to send my puppies home until at least seven weeks, but more likely, preferably eight weeks old. Absolutely. So keep that in mind when you're looking at puppies. And then the next thing that I like to touch on is a lot of people reach out and say, hey, I read this article about this socialist or behavioralist that said, hey, puppies shouldn't go home until they're 12 weeks old so that they can properly socialize and develop with mom. So now so we, we are huge advocates for growing as individual breeders. We want to be doing the best for our dogs. We, we want to develop healthy, happy, well-socialized puppies. And we want to produce the best dog that we possibly can. But that being said, there is definitely a difference between small breeds and large breeds. And obviously we're breeding short hairs and those are categories as large breeds. So some of these small breeds can definitely benefit because they're more small, they're more fragile. Um, so they can benefit staying with their litter mates and staying with their mother until 10, 12 weeks old. Now, a lot of these behavioralists and socialists that write these articles are all about the theory and what it should be. And they don't always put that in practice. So we did because we said, hey. And it's we a vast generalization. They're saying dogs should be kept until this period. And we're saying there's a huge difference between big dogs, medium-sized dogs, and little dogs. Especially there's a huge difference between pet-based dogs and working dogs. Just the mentality, the way the brains work, the way they develop, the way everything happens. And so we decided, hey, let's keep a litter of puppies until 12 weeks and evaluate this and see how the development and the interactions with mom helps change these puppies and socialize these puppies and put this theory to practice. So we did that. And I will tell you that mom was done with those puppies. 100% done. And I didn't want to leave her with those puppies up until 12 weeks because I knew that the way that she was interacting with them was gonna teach them 
not good things. In fact, probably teach them bad interactions and behaviors with other dogs because she was definitely putting them in their place. She was saying, I am done with you. Don't you dare try and nurse on me. Don't you try and mess with me. I don't want it. And taking it to a level that I was concerned that the puppies Not would- Not comfortable with. Yeah, concerned that the puppies would think that that's an okay way to interact and behave with other dogs. And that's definitely not the case. We always talk about advocating for the dogs in both situations. So saying, absolutely, puppy, you are playing too rough with the older dog in this family. And older dog, you cannot grump at and put puppy in its place. And that can be said for the way that mom and puppies interact after that eight week mark. Um, Most of the time, our mother puppy interactions are about done by about six six weeks, I would say. Mm -hmm. Uh, Moms are done nursing the puppies. Between six and seven, yeah, completed. Yeah, so moms are typically about done nursing puppies at that time. We've completely weaned the puppies. They've transitioned to hard food and they are eating multiple meals a day, drinking water on their own, and they don't need mom for nutrition at that point. But at that six week mark, they are just learning to eat hard kibble and they're doing it as a pack. And the reason they're doing it as a pack is because they need that confidence booster because everything they've done thus far has been as a pack. With their litter mates. It takes time to be able to separate that out so that we can say, okay, now feel comfortable eating on your own. And then by the time they're eight weeks old, they're ready to do this. I mean, there's a lot that happens between six and eight weeks. Yeah, and that's definitely something that I wanna hit on because between six and eight weeks, like we've talked about, so much happens. And if you've followed along with some of our other puppy development series, we've got two series out there with a smaller litter and a larger litter. And between six and eight weeks, a lot happens with those puppies. And we have people that reach out to us with concerns. They say, hey, I just got a six week old puppy. They're really not eating. They're being very picky, kind of being lethargic, things like that. And a lot of times that's because they're not eating and they're not eating comfortably and they'll pick and then they'll be done because they don't have that confidence to eat hard kibble on their own. And a lot of times they have to move backwards and start softening that food and making that process easier for the puppy. You're basically finishing the weaning process that wasn't done at the breeders. Right. And we feel that doing that process at the breeders with their litter mates is going to build bolder, more socialized, confident puppies that are gonna be ready to move in and integrate with their families instead of sending a six week old puppy home to a family that then the breeder is relying on the family to finish the socialization. And let's face it, you guys aren't professionals. You're not professional breeders. You're probably not a professional trainer. And you are going, I just got this cute little puppy, but now what do I do? And I don't wanna do it wrong. So yes, you've got a young puppy that's not comfortable eating. You, you really can't start clicker training your puppy yet. So people go, well, what do I do with my puppy? And I always tell them, well, if you got a six week old puppy, now you follow from six to eight weeks of our puppy development series and work on those socialization behaviors that should have been done with their litter mates. And those are- th- Yeah, don't worry about the clicker training. Don't worry about anything else. Cause you got to kind of finish that development period that needed to have happened probably before the doc came to you. And you have to be patient. You have to have realistic expectations because- They're those, not going to be sleeping through the night. They are definitely not going to be sleeping through the night and they're not going to probably be doing all of those socializing behaviors as well as they would had they had that pack mentality and group to do it with. I know that I definitely feel more comfortable and confident going out with a group of friends to do something and try a new activity and do something new than if I just show up someplace and be like, I'm going to figure this out on my own. I feel a little self-conscious, a little unsure, a little nervous. And if I had somebody with me, I'd feel a little braver. I'd feel a little bit more comfortable. And the same mentality can be said of those puppies. They're gonna feel more comfortable doing those things, getting used to new environments, crate training, completely getting comfortable eating dry kibble for their meals um, when they have their litter mates to do that with. And that's why we do all of those introductions like their water introduction, our introduction of running through tall grasses, our trips to the vet, our trips, um, you know, so that involves the car rides as well as bird introduction. We don't really do anything with gunfire, but all of those big socialization introductions, they happen as a group and that's to build confidence. Once they hit that eight week plus period, then all of those things move into individual stuff, but typically not before. So if you have a dog that is in that six plus week that you just picked up everything else, 
Um, you know, definitely like Kat said, follow those videos along, but understand that you need to have real estate expectations and that's going to take which More. is a big part of potty training as well. People that have a six week old puppy that say, I'm really struggling with potty training. You're going to. Yeah, that's completely realistic and understandable because you have a six week old puppy that has a very, very underdeveloped bladder at this point that they've barely been expected to hold it, if at all, because some breeders don't start crate training. They don't start potty training their puppies. They just, those puppies live in Scott's kennels or they live in an area where they just pee and poop and then that space gets cleaned on a regular basis. So they're not necessarily learning clean potty training habits of, hey, I try and hold it in this clean space, whether it's my whelping box or my kennel or my crate. And then I get opportunities to go outside and go to the bathroom like we want our adult dogs to learn how to do. So they have less bladder control and they haven't had a lot of opportunities to learn those potty training habits yet. So think about bringing home a six week old puppy versus an eight week old puppy that has had two more weeks of proper potty training development. Absolutely. So we've talked about the fact that half of the United States prevents you from or prevents breeders from being able to send their dogs home before their seven weeks and most of those even before their eight weeks of age. We've talked about the fact that there are a lot of, um, not a lot, there are a few theories that say, you know, 12 weeks is ideal, but that's again, a theory not necessarily put into practice. Um, it's and probably it's breed specific and it can definitely be breed specific. Some of your small or toy breeds, they probably could benefit from that or your large breeds and working dogs are a totally different animal and are, are more ready at that eight week mark. Then we've talked about what we specifically are doing and how much changes between six and eight weeks with our puppies and why we recommend that eight week mark um, for our dogs. Now, all I can say at this point is if you are looking at getting a dog that is six weeks old and your breeder's trying to send it home, maybe you should be re-looking at that situation. If you already have the dog home, there's not a whole lot you can do about it now. Definitely check out our videos and we'll be able to help you to see what we're doing with six to eight week old puppies maybe what you should be trying with your dog, and then reach out to us. We have a great community designed to helping people just like you. It's patreon.com slash standing stone kennels. And we can help you continuing to develop and socialize your six week old puppy up to the point that they're eight weeks and then really get into the gist of training with clicker training and obedience training and things like that, that really can't and shouldn't happen until the puppy is closer to that eight week mark. Thanks guys for the question. And as always, I'm the guy with the pink gun. And I'm Kat, the dog trainer. And we'll see you in the next video.